please welcome the adorable Colin Firth, everybody. Colin. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, Well done to you. They very much enjoy it. That suit okay. doesn't look boxy no, at all. No, no. It looks fantastic. It's not boxy. It does. It's not. No. It's Maybe it's me it, that's boxy. What's it? Is it? It's a rhombus shape, <laughs> uh, kind of rectangular. <laughs> A uh, rectangular yes, box a isn't... Trapezium. You know what? An overly, I think an overly streamlined Scotsman would be very dubious. There, no, I'd, one, I'd be no one wants to see a streamlined Scotsman. Not that, really, that, no. that way madness lies. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to get drunk that fast. No. How are you? Congratulations on, on getting nominated for an Academy Award. That's like an Oscar, isn't it? <laughs> That's what they say. It's in the same category. Yeah, that's yeah. what they say. If you win the Academy Award, the go next on step to, yeah. is the Oscar. You might go on to get an Oscar nomination. <laughs> How long have you been here? Oh, it's months. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, <laughs> did you get a Golden Globe for this? No. What were these? I got a No, anyway, no, though. Man. I mean, really. No, I, um, I sit there and I applaud Jeff Bridges for England. That's what I yeah. that's, that's what I, what I did. Did he get the Golden Globe? Yes, he well, did. Well, he's pretty good, though. Is he? <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty good. I mean, he's <coughs> actually, no, he's, he's actually bloody marvellous. I, yeah. I, I had the, 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 the bizarre sort of coincidental honour of running into it. We were on the same flight coming over here. Really? And, and is he nominated for an Oscar too? Yes, he is. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that and, must have you been... You know, I had to oh. go up to him and I told him I would have voted for him had I not been throwing darts at his image. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, actually, we had a moment on the plane, which you sort of, you know, you always flown first class with this sort of thing. And, I um, wouldn't know. No, no, no. <laughs> And men in first class, have, they, have, they give you these little sponge baggy things. You like, know, with oh, I was just thinking SpongeBob. Sponge bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you, if you want, you can moisturize and put lip salve and there's a, you know... I'm going! You should do it. And there's a little spray, it's called an atomizer, which I, I'm always afraid to press in case it puts us into yeah. nuclear winter. Or yeah. You know, so Dr. Evil has it. Um, but I noticed guys putting lip salve and, and I just looked around and I prayed that Jeff Bridges would moisturize. Because I just thought if he moisturizes I'm telling everybody. Did and he? I think I could harm his award season. <laughs> moisturizing is not going to hurt you if you're a dude in LA. You know I mean moisturizing is kind of that's that's the guy Dudes thing in LA. in LA don't moisturize. Oh yes they do. Do they? <laughs> Yes. I moisturise. I mean, you I do within you, an inch of my life. Yeah. I mean, I was sitting there, <laughs> looking round to see if you'd... and what were people were glaring at you? Uh, no, because they were moisturising as well. It sounds <laughs> sound like some kind of bacchanalian <laughs> orgy in first class. Everyone rubbing up against each other, moisturising. <laughs> it might just be British Airways. Yeah, it I might be. Know. Yeah. No, it... Listen, uh, the, the movie th uh, that you're in, the single man movie, is directed by Tom Ford. It is. He's very fashionable, isn't he? He's a fashion guy. Yes. Yeah. Is yeah. it a very fashionable film? Um, I hoped it would be. I mean, my only motive for taking it would be that it would Free be, clothes. I'd look good, yeah. that I'd get a, a couple of suits out of it, and he'd light me and flatter my jawline probably for the last time in my life. Oh, no, calm now. Calm, calm. You've got a fabulous <laughs> jaw. Bless you. Flinty, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> only a Scotsman would say flinty. No. <laughs> Um, no, so I, that's what I did, and then I had showed up, and I had to do a load of acting, um, oh. which, which did, did surprise me. It's outrageous. Know. It was. Yeah, I got <laughs> Not what it said on the tin. No, did, he, did, it, did everyone wear Tom Ford clothes in the film? No, we, well, I mean, he was there, and he was, had, obviously he had a hand in it, but he did have a wonderful designer called Ariane Phillips, who, right. you know, who, Dresses has, you all up. who did all that, and she's credited with it, and she, it was her work, really. I'd like to be in a film directed by Tommy Bahama. <laughs> I think that's that. I think it would be great. You'd get big shirts, and you, it doesn't matter if you get fat or anything. Don't rule him out. I'm not no, ruling him out. <laughs> the thing about the Tommy Bahamas is, as well, that you can get as fat as you like, apparently, and you still look great in Tommy Bahama stuff. That's what guys that are wearing Tommy Bahama think. I'm sure all, of, all yeah. of that is probably true, but I don't know who Tommy, Tommy Bahama is. Uh, is Tommy, Tommy Bahama's not a real guy. He's like, uh, is it a real guy? No, did it's like Ed Hardy. Did you just make him up? <laughs> no, it's like there's a store called Tommy, Tommy Bahama. Bahama. Is there? I've, yes. heard of, I've heard of Tummy Banana. Is that Tummy Banana, no, that's... <laughs>
Tell me Bananas a the series of movies that I... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did get into porn. I did get into <laughs> porn. Yeah. I did. Do you enjoy pornography? Do you watch a lot of porn? <laughs> uh, you know, it depends. It, it, it's, if it's on the British Airways menu, you know. Yeah. Yeah. If British Airways are showing it, then it must be all right. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is. You know. I find that with pornography, it's a bit like snooker or pool. You know, I don't mind doing it, but watching it's kind of boring after a while. <laughs> You'd rather do the pornography, you mean? Yeah, I'd rather, the, be, I'd rather be in it than, you know, yeah. sadly weeping in the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not too late for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, uh, we have to take a break. Will you hang around? I'll hang around. All right, well, we'll be right back with Colin. Ferguson. I love this. You're insane. Come on, old man. You're, you're very uh, English. How's that? How's that going? It's um, it, I I find it difficult. Yes. Yeah. I, um, I, I, when I, you know, it's uh, basically the default state of the Englishman is embarrassment. Scottish um, people too. Scottish people. Yeah, embarrassment and rage. Yeah. We have rage too. You know, the yeah. people have rage. Um, no, but we've actually we, we conducted the empire with an, a sense of embarrassment. Right. You know, we've we've sort of apologised our way through India and, and sort of North <laughs> Africa. And, I know. don't know if that's quite how they remember it. But. <laughs> It was a form that they made on, you know, we didn't apologise in the, in the native tongue. But right, you know, yes. It, all right, sorry everyone, you all get over there right now. No, 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 no. we felt very uncomfortable about disemboweling people. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, 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 it's a long time ago. Shut up. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's, it, what, what's interesting is, you, you were talking about the Olympics just now. Right. I, I don't know, we have this way of, of winning things. All the events that the English won were sitting down. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Rowing, right. cycling, yeah. sailing, right. they're all things that involve the, the art of sitting down. I, that's, <laughs> that's true. It is, isn't it? I actually am drawn to flying. I like to fly airplanes, and, and I down. like to do that because it's sitting that's down. That's right, we yeah. don't like to stand up, do we? It's, well, it's tough on your legs after a while. It is. Listen, I mean, when, I, when, I, when I did this, the Tom Ford film... Yes. Uh, the, the, is there, there a lot of sitting down in the film? Uh, there is, and some standing up and some lying down. Well, I can't wait to see it. It's far too active for me. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the getting in shape challenge, because right. Ford sort of gently suggested that it would be okay if I decided to get in shape. Right. And um, the first thing I went to buy, it was funny, I went into this sports shop and all these weights looked far too heavy. Yep. Yeah. And I just, so I bought a mat. <laughs> 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 Quite an expensive one. Look. This is for what, exercise. This is good. <laughs> I need I, something comfortable to get in shape. Took, I took it to my room. I lay down to do some sit-ups, and I woke up two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. No, it's perfectly acceptable to do sit-ups without the mat. You can just do them in there. If the room has a carpet, it can sometimes, you know, no, exfoliate your back. <laughs> No, but I'd miss my mat now. I take it wherever I go. And, really? You know, do you do snooze. the yoga? No, no, I sleep on it. Sleep on it? <laughs> well, what do you do then? You do sit ups and. It works. I wake up with perfect abs. It's quite a beautiful. <laughs> it's just yeah, yeah. sleeping that. You should do a video. <laughs> I should. Yeah, the, the cold <laughs> birth sleep <laughs> your way to <laughs> hell. <laughs> yeah, and the Winter Olympics without snow as well. Yeah, we were just a talking tricky. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I think I'd prefer it really because the snow makes you go too fast. <laughs> I think the idea is to, you know, pick up a bit of speed on the way down. That's, uh, I don't like that. Well, <laughs> well, you could do it sitting down. What was then, the motto? Faster... Faster, higher, stronger, uh, something like that, you know. You see, I think I would go for a little bit slower, n lower. Yes. And sort of in touch with my feminine side. On the way down with the... Now, you say that like you are in touch with your feminine side. Are you in touch with your feminine side? And, and what does that constitute, being in touch with one's feminine side? It, it constitutes a lot of effort going into trying to get in touch with my masculine side. Which is, which is lately, I mean, I've done an ABBA movie. 
You know, that doesn't... But that was great. That was a great movie. I loved that movie. The, the Mamma Mia with the... And when Pierce Brosnan says in that movie, I see you kept my bagpipes, I laughed for a week. <laughs> That is great, and I know Piers and like him, and I love that line I that know. he had to say. But it's the nicest thing you could say to a woman. It is, I see you kick my back. <laughs> yeah. They just melt. They, they do, they love it. And, and you know a woman loves you if she keeps your spider-like musical instrument for a long time. <laughs> That's right. Do you ever play the bagpipes or any other musical instrument? Not so much these days. Right. Yeah. Really, that was more of, a, more of a thing of my youth when I wanted to impress the girls. You know, what, what rock and roll, so, you know. Really? What did you play? Pierce my isn't the bagpipes. Bagpipes? No. <laughs> no, I, I, I tried. Uh, I tried to play the guitar. Really? Yeah. The, the guitar was banned at my school. I mean, this is another thing about England. The school I went to would not allow the saxophone or the guitar because they were not serious instruments. It was a, a quite extraordinary thing. Really? So, so what? They, is, I arrived and they said, you get to play the baritone euphonium. <laughs> Which is like the tuba, but less sexy. Yeah. <laughs> the baritone euphonium is not quite a tuba, right? It's a, it's a smaller and smaller not, tuba. not even as much. It's not even good for comedy, really. I mean, a tuba at least. <laughs> so tuba. this, I mean, no one ever got laid with a baritone. <laughs> I, mean, that's I don't know, though. I think uh, we could maybe ask that question of the viewers. <laughs> Anyone get laid with a baritone euphonium? <laughs> I don't know. Are you still living in England? Still living in London? I am. London's very nice. What part of London are you in? Uh, I live in Chiswick, West London. I like Chiswick. Do yeah, you? it's just uh, past Chelsea on the way to the airport. That's right. Yeah, very Depending nice. Depending which way you yes. Yeah, well, if you're coming in from the airport, it's just before Chelsea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks um, for pointing that out. <laughs> Um, a lot of time spent in Italy. My wife's Italian, so really? I, I have the very good fortune to well, have that's that. That's rather but, daring to yeah, have an Italian wife and be English, isn't it? <laughs> yes. That, I love that. It's, it's frightening. Yeah. I mean, I, that is one thing, actually, I've, I have never got used to. What? Are your wife being Italian? The, the fact that she's Italian. Yeah, yeah that's, but does she, no. does she cook? Yeah, she, she does. Yeah. yeah, she Very cooks. well, probably, I'd imagine. Um, she cooks brilliantly. I, she certainly frightened it out of me. I used to cook very, very enthusiastically until I met her, and then well, I realized... beans on toast, another English fare, <laughs> I imagine. Deep-fried Mars bar. Deep-fried Mars bar, that's more Scotland, no, I mean, isn't it? Yes, yeah. no. Do you still have yourself the odd deep-fried uh, Mars no, bar? No, I don't. I mean, I, I occasionally, occasionally will uh, foray into a little bit of haggis. You will, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Because it's quite a dietary leap from Scotland to Los Angeles. Yes, isn't it, yes. Really? I actually went back home uh, about 18 months ago. I was in Scotland and I had, uh, I went to a restaurant, uh, a local uh, type, I'm not going to say, it was a cafe and they had fried food and uh, my body went into toxic shock. <laughs> It happens when you go home. I, I mean, I have to say, I do miss it. I love solid, greasy, old-fashioned English. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's I mean, if you go too far, my, my, the school I grew up in, it was actually like child abuse, the food that they served. Really? I mean, I, they, they used to make seat every last bit of it, and I used to walk out with my pockets full of sausages and, and tinned peas, <laughs> which is disgusting. It it's, sounds kind of great. It's though, better well, in your yeah. pocket than down, yeah. down your neck. Pockets full of sausages and tinned peas sounds a little bit porny as well, actually, yeah. <laughs> But it's better than, the, uh, what I don't like, what I cannot bear is this sort of the nouvelle, you know, the vertical food. You know, yes, there's a tiny little bit, on a big plate, yeah. and then a tiny little bit of food a, in the a middle. A sphincter yeah. of pigeon with a, yeah, yeah. Kind of, a grape and a, uh, what it, drizzled, drizzled in, uh, in sphincter of pigeon. In, in, uh, uh, in yeah, you know how to live with your moisturizing <laughs> and your pigeon sphincter. <laughs> Cool. Living you know, the dream, sir. Well, I'll tell you how about look, English catering. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go soon, don't worry. Um, uh, you, you're going to have to in a minute. Yeah, yeah we're out of time. No, English on. catering. Um, working with Tom Ford, one of the things that was easy is the catering in this country is absolutely fantastic on a film set. Oh, yes. You can eat healthy stuff and it still tastes good. This is how bad it is in England. This is a long time ago. It's got better. I just did a movie and finally the level's coming up now. Um, Timothy Spall, English actor. I know Tim, yeah. They had to make, he had this scene where he vomits. Yeah. And they It'd had be to very make... difficult to make Tim Spall vomit, <laughs> well, come on, I, be fair. I, I've seen things that could easily make Tim Spall vomit. Oh, right. and this... Pigeon sphincter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, um, no, he, he had to be covered in vomit, and the props department cooked up this stuff, this vomit for him. And I tell you, it was the best, that, compared to the catering, <laughs> <laughs> the entire cast and crew were queuing up with their bowls. Another set of vomit. A bowl of Timothy Spall's vomit. <laughs> you can actually get that in a lot of restaurants in L.A. now as well. I'll have the Spall vomit, please. <laughs> Colin, we're out of time. Uh, listen, good luck at the Academy Awards, and then who knows, maybe on to the Oscar after that. <laughs> a very lovely call for them. <laughs>